What's going on everybody? So today's video I got the lovely Lily here and we're actually going to be doing a smell and rate on the house of Vince Camuto. So this is a brand that I really do like. It's an underrated house. You don't know any Vince Camuto fragrances, I but do not. you definitely know the brand. So Yes, I do. Yeah. My, my wife's a big <laughs> Vince. shoes. My <laughs> wife would love you right now because she has a shoe fetish and Vince Camuto is probably at the top of her list. All right? Awesome. So I'm just going to grab whatever fragrances. I do have every single fragrance from their men's release. They tend to have more female fragrances, I believe, oh, um, okay. than the men's, all right? So the first one we're actually going to go with Vince Camuto Solare. So this is just a little travel spray that I have. All right. So I do have three bottles and the rest are travel sprays and samples. So the Solari, and we're gonna pair that off with Vince Camuto Oud. Um, it says citrusy bomb. Okay. Probably some orange or, I don't know, like a bergamot or something in it. Okay. But uh, now it's drying down a little bit powdery. Do you like that one over the Oud or the Oud over the Solari? I mean, they're completely different. Oh, yes. Both great. For this time of the year, I'm gonna go with the Oud. So we're gonna pair that off against Vince Camuto Um. So this is the very first fragrance for the Vince Camuto men's line. It's a little travel spray here. So I like to test before I buy. Some of these were blind buys though, just cause unfortunately now the Vince Camuto boutique is now closed. It's no longer in the Eaton Center. But the Um or the Oud? Oud. Okay. Yeah. That one's quite generic. I like generic, but <laughs> we're not going by my no. opinion. Okay, so Vince Komoto Um. Alright. So Vince Komoto Um or the Oud? Again, very citrusy, fresh. I'm gonna go with the Oud. So we're actually gonna go with their new vir Virtue Virtu. Ooh, I think this is heavy on like the vetiver or or maybe it's like a cedar. Very green. It's a very masculine. I, th I think both of these fragrances, the Oud and the Virtue, Ooh, are both good. very masculine. You know what's funny? It kind of reminds me of a La Labo. I'm not familiar with the house. No? For okay. a frag head, I, that's really niche, mm. and for me, I try to avoid this. Oh, it's really. gonna be hard. You know what? I'm not. To, these are kind of a tie. And okay. Maybe I'll make a decision at the end. Okay. All right then. That's a first for this channel, but that's Sorry. okay. <laughs> that's okay. We'll just go with. I can't make up my mind. Teta. All right. All right. So the all popos right. are out there. So we can oh. hear the sirens. <laughs> all right. So Teta, or the two that are tied right now, Virtu or. No, the other two still. Okay. Then. Smoked oud. Mm. All right, so will this break the tie of the other two? Smoked oud Ooh, versus yeah, the you can definitely smell oud smoke. or the virtu. Oh, but there's there's like a sweetness to it. Probably like an amber of sort or something. I'm not no? a fan of it myself, no? so okay. I don't know the notes. I, I know that oud is in it. Yeah, I can smell but, it. Um, but it's actually done like very sweet. I don't know if you had a chance to smell it, but uh, I'm still gonna go with the other two. So the last bottle, and then we're gonna see which one is the winner. So if this one here doesn't knock out one of these. Okay. We're gonna go with the the ones with the tie, right? So Eterno is gonna be the last one before we go into the tiebreaker, perhaps. So I, I have a feeling. But I'm not saying anything. <laughs> no, I still feel like this smells quite similar to the first one. And this is my favorite from the entire catalog. Really? Yeah, but that's okay. We're going by what you prefer. Yeah, um, I definitely get a, maybe a little bit of floral or fruit. Do you know what's in this the, one? Uh, citrus, mint. Saffron. Is that where the spice is coming from? There's a bit of spice There's in it. There's uh, patchouli or vetiver in this one okay. with some woods. Okay. There's like five or six notes at the right. most though. I've reviewed this on many occasions. Okay. I just never published the video. It's so actually got... really nice, but. Which like, one then? For a standout. Is the ultimate Vince Camuto though. So I think the Oud is in that hand and the Virtue yeah. is in the left. Which one do you prefer then? Like from the card, I'm gonna have to go with the oud. Why, why do you like this one so much? 
I think it just fits the time of the year. I think it's smells really well blended. I don't get alcohol like right off the take. Okay. It's it's actually very like satiny and smooth. Interesting. I don't okay. know if you had a chance to. And this actually reminds me of the label. Um, the Virtu. Yeah. It's very heavy on like the green, so it's either a vetiver, a patchouli, or a cedrus, uh, this, cedar atlas, or something of that sort. This actually made. Um, it's really nice. I believe my top five favorite oh, okay. releases of this year. It certainly made my top five sexy fragrances, just because everybody says that sexy, like I find sexiness is different for everybody else. Absolutely. But you know, I find with this, this like suit and tie type of sexiness. Yeah. A businessman, mm -hmm. a gentleman. This is certainly a sexy fragrance. Uh, for a more mature gentleman. Yeah, so. definitely. I agree with you. This is more, um, it's definitely more versatile. Like You can wear it evening and day. It definitely has some depth. It's really nice. All I right. Like so the winner is Vince Komoto Oud. So Lily, thank you very much for, very uh, for doing this video. So guys, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Share the video, subscribe if you haven't. I'll attach Lily's Instagram link down below. So please make sure to check her out and show her some love. Behave yourselves, guys. She's a happily <laughs> married woman, and her man is right there. <laughs> so, guys, we're going to finish this video off so we can actually get Tim back on camera. So, guys, we thank you for your time. Take care, and we'll see you later. Peace out.